somebody who wanted to be senator for Nyeri County, Kabando or Kabando is on the line. Good morning. Good morning to you. Uh, thank you very much for speaking to us, Moshimiwa. This is Kenya's biggest conversation. Now, tell us what's happening in your race. Uh, my race, uh, no race uh, anymore because it was uh, concluded uh, two days ago. Yep. Mm. So it happened. Mm -hmm. Yes, and uh, I considered uh, that uh, the verdict of the Nyeri voters yep. uh, was not... Uh, uh, in favor of uh, my going to the Senate this time. Mm. And uh, that is uh, in the spirit of democracy, that yep. the people's uh, choice should be respected and must be accepted. Mm. You admit, you accept, and you advance. And that's what I've done. Okay. This is what you said when you were conceding that you said, politics of public leadership is my passion. I take voters' verdicts in stride, in gusto, with rose flower petals symbolizing the Nak Kenya proudly crowned now on my way to join my Martha Karua tracking presidential tally patriotic zealot for Kenya's democracy uh, and your seasons you are yes. very uh, eloquent, eloquent in, in, uh, in, in that statement thank you very much for that compliment but I should say that uh, uh, at a very young age and uh, I first contested Mukurini parliamentary seat in 1987 I think I was uh, perhaps uh, the first uh, person to concede defeat uh, in 1997 and again in 2002. Uh, and I've done that in subsequent elections, either accepting uh, defeat or uh, uh, going around ranking the voters after they have done the, their bit, because that is the, in the, the spirit of uh, democracy. That's why democracy is, you can say, if you don't like it or you are uncomfortable with the with the choice of the people or the competitions or uh, you know the, the the situations that may be imagined in any particular uh, season but it is still the best form of leadership and uh, democracy is irreplaceable and therefore when i contested as a senator i was very confident that uh, i would win the seat i went against the grain against the, the regional wave of uh, UDA and I stood very firmly with the uh, Raira Odinga and Mother Karua. And to be specific, I, I was the only candidate uh, running for a county seat mm. in uh, my region. And in my region, I mean, uh, uh, you know, Central Kenya, who mm. in my campaigns made it very clear that my president is Raira Odinga, my deputy president is Mother Karua also who is uh, my party leader in Kenya. And I think we should brief the circumstances and the stand on principles mm. rather than play politics of uh, deception, politics of opportunism, or betrayal, where you go to the ground, you find that the majority of the voters are in another political formation, and since you want to have convenience and the uh, comfort of uh, uh, politics of uh, elections, mm. you disown, you talk in your vernacular, and uh, when you come out here, you want to say you are supporting this and that other person or this formation. But when you go to your people, you want to speak in your, in your, in your local dialect, in your vernacular, and uh, state that, give me this vote, and uh, on that other side, make your own choice. I am very proud that uh, nearly people did what they did, and I'm very happy on uh, two fronts. One, this election has witnessed a very admirable, uh, uh, you know, ingredient of non-violence. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Throughout my campaign in Nyeri, not a single incident of anyone hurling insults mm -hmm. or uh, throwing a stone or uh, causing uh, mayhem in any of my meetings, and I suppose even the other candidates, except a few instances where our posters were either pulled down by higher the goons, but that was not a big deal. That, that, that happened everywhere, and it can be done by people who are even not commissioned by anyone. Therefore, non-violence has found its place in the center stage of Kenyan politics this year, 2022. That is something to be loaded. Number two, that everywhere I went to Nyeri, in all the eight sub-counties, the six constituencies, the that you want, 
the audiences were keen to listen to the messaging. They were keen to understand the priorities of the issues that you are you are you are you are putting forward to persuade them to agree with you to to seek their approval and therefore their mandate. So it is very very important to know that although the outcome may be a little bit different or even significantly or totally different mm. from what uh, either uh, you know the local cadet or the national cadet uh, got, the most important thing is that. Again, is the wave. Mm. Again, is the atrocities of propaganda and the deceptions and the you know lies of, of certain candidates or certain groupings. The most important is that people know what they need, people know what they they they, they deserve, mm. and they, they may vote otherwise because of certain other factors that may be overwhelming the 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 issues that you are giving them. But they have not. They have not forgotten the issues. Now that the elections are over, the menu on the table is basic needs, are basic human rights, yeah. and that there is a lot of suffering wherever we went. There is a lot of disenchantment with the, with the status quo. There is a lot of anger because of the economic situation. The youth, particularly, uh, you know, find themselves very alienated and marginalized. You go to every village in Nyeri. You find particularly young males are uh, dejected, they are, you know, the, the joblessness, but that is not uh, just because there, 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 there is no employment or because mm -hmm. industries have not been formed. There is also the need to have the spirit of optimism, the spirit of hope, and a leadership that has integrity that will allow Kenya to appreciate that you can seek leadership without bravery mm -hmm. and that you can, uh, you can interact with the voters without uh, necessarily deriding your opponent or uh, evoking ethnic uh, emotions or prejudice, it is very important for us to raise the bar of leadership integrity. And I think I played my part in the campaign and uh, proudly mm. saying that the game is not over. Mm. Let's look at what's happened in this region, in uh, your region, Mount Kenya. The yellow wave yes. seems to have really swept off very many people. True, true, true. Why do you think this was the case? And what is the message here? Uh, you know, uh, let me say the things. One is that um, um, the Azimio campaign was not well coordinated mm. at uh, national and regional level. And I'm seeing this authoritatively and with evidence. It was very disjointed. Mm. Uh, there was a lot of uh, mismanagement and uh, can I say even opportunism and greed. Mm. And I, I put this in a post uh, on my Facebook account and on my Twitter, the day before uh, Raila Odinga and Mother Karua made the first joint visit of, the, of my county in mm. And I say that brokers have found their way. <laughs> they emerged during elections, they, you know, with the content that is sitting on the, on the, on the, on the, on the uh, political leadership mm. of, of the grassroots. And therefore, the the... U UDA and uh, specifically William Ruto found their space widening each day mm. uh, as, a, as a result of uh, their organization and the disorganization on our part. We would have done better. And I say this that because I was running one. for Senator Inyeri. Mm. I was running for Senator Inyeri. But at no time was I involved at all uh, in the uh, Azimio presidential campaign. So, and I'm not saying this individually. I'm saying this from even the national level, I know we would have done better. That said, that said, there is the other point that uh, UDA largely ran a campaign of hate, a campaign of, uh, you know, uh, there was a lot of propaganda even on the election day. And that hate and the anger found its way in the minds of the people. But the voter is always right. Why is the voter easily persuaded? It is because of circumstances that were preceding the elections. The voter found themselves uh, spread without uh, good command, without uh, good networking at the grassroots. And uh, perhaps people saw guys coming from Nairobi, coming to load it over in the, in the grassroots, uh, happening but, that they would but, be but in you, are, you know, okay, yes. that's all well said and done, but it yes. sounds, you know, very scientific. At yes. the heart of this thing, why is it yes. that William Ruto and 
UDA have become so popular on the ground, not looking at why did Jubilee and Azimio not, and, and the other Azimio affiliated yeah. parties, not gain ground, but why had UDA gained so much ground? Uh, first of all, can we agree that politics is a science? Mm. It's not just an art. <laughs> so the, the, the art part of politics is uh, the speeches, the talking, the mobilization. That, that's, the, that's the art of it. But there is a science of sitting down looking at the demography, the figures, the population, the registered voters, the voting thread, and the, 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 the opinion polls uh, that are authenticated scientifically, so that you mobilize, you network, you, you organize, and you, 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 you manage the campaign uh, process scientifically. So well, I'm well, let me, I have to ask you this question. Do people vote on the basis of what you're saying, or is it a certain appeal that somebody has you said there was a campaign of hate that's emotions so are you well, saying that the emotions played an important role a pivotal role in the direction in which votes were directed in the mountain and um, i i think you should uh, look at the uh, signs again uh, and i want to see because i'm a Apart from being a politician, I'm also a political scientist, and I know science has, science has a place in politics. Let me just explain this point. That uh, the turnout, for instance, come to my home country of Ukraine, go to other countries, uh, Odaya, Madeira, Nyeri, Kieni, Teto, 50% turnout, 42% turnout. At most, uh, 65, 66% turnout, compared to over 90% turnout in 2013, in 2007, in 2017, is a huge statement that though the voter verdict must be accepted and respected, we also have to take stock of what uh, has uh, happened. Mm. And what has happened is that there was a lot of apathy. And that apathy was a vote in itself. When people don't come out to vote, they are making a statement of the, 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 the disaffection. They are dissatisfied. And therefore, there is no encouragement, there is no excitement to go and vote for a candidate of your choice. So that is one aspect. But the other aspect of emotion is a question of mobilization. It's mm. a question of the, the messaging. Mm. And the, that means that there is an individual, by the way, by the way, do you know that even up to the last hour, mm. as the booths were opening at 6 a.m. on Tuesday, we knew, all candidates knew, that there was a huge uh, undecided voter segment. Uh -huh. We knew that. Even as we are campaigning ourselves, all the candidates across the spectrum knew that Moshimewa, in our we, region... We, we, as, we are running out of time and we need to get into the news. Allow us to okay. extend this live formal invitation for you to come so we can interrogate what has happened in this election, particularly but, in Mount but, Kenya but region. Go, can I say this because you called? I would like to say that uh, we should celebrate our democracy. Yeah. We should be thankful to the voters whatever decision they make. And we must embed our ambitions and expectations on the fact that the people's choice is the hallmark of our democracy. And I particularly, Kabado Kabando, respect and thank the people of Nyeri for decisions that they made. And the way forward is to create systems that can empower and uh, aware mm. the people more so that their decision making uh, remains solid. But we are not, I'm not complaining. I'm just saying that it's very well accepted. said. But Kenya is greater. Very well said. And thank you very much, Moshimu Akabando Akabando.